What's going on guys? Spider here for Clash of Clans and uh, as per some requests from some people, I know I posted some replays from our clan war the other day and it was the most heroic attacks. Well, you guys want, wanted to see some of the three star attacks, so I'm going to show you a couple of those. The first is an attack on Stormbreaker. He's part of Champ Clan. It was by Double O Lime, so we're going to replay this. And uh, Double O Lime is using an army of uh, hog riders so 41 41 level 5 hog riders so he's drawing the troops out here this guy has his clan castle at the very top of his base so very very easy to draw the troops out but uh you know a clan castle full of wizards is very very difficult to uh to take out i mean using even using the lightning spell didn't take them out right there yeah the health is almost zero but i mean anything you send in against these guys it's going to be tough to take them out still because of all that splash damage they do. He does a good job, Lime does a good job of bringing in the um, the Archer Queen using her ability, so she's obviously, you know, invisible for a period of time um, in order to take those, uh, those wizards out. And there come the Hog Riders. Yes, those beautiful Hog Riders. Now, this base is not particularly anti-Hog. We don't see uh, maybe one possible location for a double giant bomb, but that's about it. And it wasn't even there. He had a hidden Tesla in his location where he thought there could be a double giant bomb. So uh, these hog riders are going to go to town, especially level 5 with those healing spells. Yes, uh, he, they do have to deal with the heroes. He's got the Barbarian King and the Archer Queen in there going to town on those hog riders, but it's really not enough to take them out. Now, what kind of bugs me about hog riders, I wish they would actually attack troops. You know what I mean? Like, they're, they're sort of... I think they're doing it now. Yeah, the Hog Riders are going to attack that uh, Barbarian King now, but seriously, uh, the Archer Queen should have been taken out. The, the Hog Riders should have went after the Archer Queen, especially once the defenses are down. I think they should, if they're getting attacked, they should go and attack whoever's attacking them, whether it be Clan Castle troops or, uh, or heroes. But anyways, so, you know, when you got 41 Hog Riders and you're bringing into a non-anti-Hog base, it's going to be pretty easy to take out, and it looks like, yes, we definitely, obviously we got the three-star, the replay, we know we got a three-star, so let's beat it up so we can finish that off with the last gold storage, and there we go. So pretty good. I mean, who says hogs are completely nerfed? Hogs are still very, very effective. Um, you just got to pick where to bring them in and um, attack bases that are not set up to be particularly anti-hog. Okay, so we got an attack against uh, Wee Wee. I call him Wee Wee, even though it's, I don't know, it doesn't really, it's not really spelt like that, but whatever, we're going to call it anyway. Okay, now, we got the wipe, the wipe, wizards and pekkas, this is not go wipe, there's no golems here, wizards and pekkas only. Uh, this guy's not going to be able to draw the troops out, right, so he's bringing in, there we go, he's, he's raging those pekkas, so he's got four, what is it, three or four level four pekkas. And then level six wizard. So this guy is fully, uh, you know, upgraded on his troops. And he's got a combination of rage spells and healing spells. So he's doing quite well. The Pekkas are going to go to town. And they're tough. I mean, when you don't have... Uh, I, I know the hidden Teslas do extra damage on the Pekkas. But when you don't have Inferno Towers and you're being faced with high level troops, you know, Town Hall 10, fully maxed out troops, yeah, you're in trouble, right? On a Town Hall 9 base. So this guy is going to easily wreck Weeby. I'm sorry, Weeby. I'm sorry. You're going to get wrecked. Those wizards are beasts, though. Look at those wizards. Those level 6 wizards, I can't wait, man. It's going to be a long time before I can get level 6 wizards. I've got level 5. But uh, those level six, wow, they're getting they're getting taken out by that uh, wizard tower. But still, it's taking quite a bit for that wizard tower to take them out, and uh, and, and now the wizard tower is gone. So they're just gonna go down on that hidden Tesla. And yeah, even with the, the you know the hidden Teslas, yeah, they do extra damage on Pekkas. But when you got four of them, you got four Pekkas. Yeah, you're not gonna get very far. All right. So I like it. The um, and I know the golems. Usually, you you throw in a golem or two with uh, with the go wipe army instead of just doing the regular wipe. You can go the go wipe, and uh, at least the golems will go directly after the defenses. But 
Yeah, like I said, when you got uh, when you got <laughs> when you got max level packages and max level wizards, you don't need the go part, especially on a town hall nine base. So you know that was another three star attack. And like I said, you guys requested to uh, for me to show you some of the three star attacks. So there you go. It'd be nice to see um, once we get a little bit further on because we only have the one the one town hall 10 guy and he only did what a one star to each of those the other bases it'd be nice to see the town hall 10 max troops versus max uh defenses but um we'll see what we can do in the future all right guys hopefully you guys enjoyed that if you guys want to see anything else specifically leave me a comment in the video comments below and we'll be sure to uh to try and incorporate your suggestions into future videos and episodes here on NGT Mobile Gaming. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed. I'm Spider, and I'm out.